good to see you today. Welcome back to Good Shepherd New York Kids. I'm so excited to be here with you and I'm excited that we get to share this time together. So let us start it off right and sing a good old classic, acapella style. Going back to my Church of Christ roots, we're gonna sing this one, acapella. Now you should know it, so sing along. Are you ready? Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. That was fun. Now friends, we are gonna head over to Mrs. Gabriella with the craft time. Now, if you'd like to follow along with our craft but don't have the materials with you right now, no worries. Pause the video in just a second and in the description of this YouTube video, there's a link to all of the materials and instructions. So once you get that all ready to go, hit play and join Mrs. Gabriella and the craft. All right, we'll see you in a minute. This is crafting time with Miss Gabriela and today I have a fabulous craft prepared for you and I to do. Um, our story of today is called the Holy Trinity. Are you familiar with the Holy Trinity? Um, we're going to be learning furthermore as we go through this. Um, I would like you to get your the Holy Trinity craft kit. We're going to be using Mr. Sketch scented sticks and scented markers. And we're going to be using Mr. Glue Stick. You know what I'm going to ask? Are you ready for this? Then let's start. So these are the materials that are inside our The Holy Trinity Craft Kit. And these are three triangles and a piece of um, cardstock. In this case, this one is construction paper, okay? So I would like to start, I would like you to experiment with these shapes. And the one challenge is how do we keep them connected to each other, right? So we can uh, experiment with the shapes and make something like this. Right, they're still connected. We can just keep them in a row or bend it a little bit and they're still part of one full shape. If we do these, there are three separate pieces that make one shape. So look at that, they're still connected and they're making a completely different shape. The possibilities are endless. There are many, many, many ways. To build shapes with these three triangles in a way that makes one full shape. So let's keep it a mystery for now, but I would like you to find the shape that will still keep these three triangles connected, um, but it's a shape that you find that is pleasing to you, and then I'll, I'll see you later. So this was a shape I liked, and it creates one entire shape out of three shapes, independent shapes together, and this makes a uh, interesting triangle. So I would like to keep for you to keep that in mind and now I'm gonna write here the Holy Trinity and then I'm gonna proceed to decorate my triangles in a way that is cohesive to the whole. So 
So we have decorated it and I wrote the Holy Trinity and then I added glue to the backs of the triangles in a shape of my liking and then decorated it to make a maybe a cool pattern. Okay, can't wait to see what you come up with. Congratulations! Look at what we have made together, our own The Holy Trinity Craft. And now it's time to be learning with Mr. Jeremy furthermore. What does this mean? Um, as always, I would like you to be reminded that you are deeply loved. And I hope you have a wonderful week. Welcome back. How was it? How was the craft? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, oh wow. Oh, those crafts are, oh, they're so good. I love that. Those are great. You, you are all so talented. Now, my friends, I'm ready to jump in our story today. Now, our story today is pretty interesting. Our story today deals with things that you may have heard about story today it deals with something that's really fun and interesting but also really important today we're talking about the holy trinity now the word trinity it starts off with t-r-i try now try is in probably some words that you've seen before maybe tricycle that tricycle has three wheels. Or what about a triceratops? Triceratops is a dinosaur that has three horns. What about a triathlon? Oh, that's a race that has three different parts, swimming, running, and biking. Or maybe you've seen someone take pictures or film a video on a tripod. Now, tripod means a stand with three legs. So try, T-R-I, that's got to do something with three, right? So the Trinity, try, Trinity, Trinity, yeah. The Trinity must have something to do with three as well. Now, if you've ever been in church, you may have seen someone do this. And you may have heard them say, pray to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Father, Son, Holy Ghost. One, two, three. Wait. So, so, oh, three things. The Trinity also has three things. Well, guess what? The Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost are the three things of the Trinity. Now, here's where it gets really wild. Those th three things are technically the same thing. They're all God. Now, that is wild, but let me explain it in a different way. You're saying, Mr. Jeremy, how can three things be the same thing? Well, while there aren't any perfect examples that exist in the world, I'm gonna try one with something that you may have lying around your house that might explain it a little bit better. So this is an apple. Now an apple has three parts. Now this first outer part, this is the skin, right? Now this is what protects an apple. Now, a lot of times people will talk about God as the father, as a protector. So God as the father could maybe be like the skin. Now let's say we look inside the apple. Now inside the apple, there's this part in here. Now this is called the flesh of the apple. Now a lot of times you'll hear people talk about Christ in the flesh. And, and that is what the Son is. The Son, Jesus Christ. A God that can be with us and nourish us. A God that can come to us in the flesh. Now. These things here in the middle. Well, those are the seeds of the apple. Sometimes we can think about the Holy Spirit or the Spirit of Truth. 
that plants seeds in our hearts and helps our faith grow. Now, all three of those things do different things, but they're all three the apple. Wow, that's really neat. Now, the Trinity is really interesting, but I wonder which one of the three do you like best? Which one of the three do you think is the most important? I wonder if you have ever come close to the Trinity. I wonder if we could leave any part out and still have all the Trinity we need. Well, my friends, it was such a delight getting to teach you this story today. I am so thrilled to have been here with you, and it just warms my heart that we get to have these stories every week. So I'm going to send you out with a benediction and our doxology. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord lift his face to shine upon you and give you peace. Now I want you to listen at the end of our song that we sing every time listen for some things that you might have recognized from our story. All right. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him all creatures here below. Praise Him above ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Did you hear it? Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. The Trinity. Amen. next week.